Hello, Fair Maiden, and welcome now to Thursday. Well, cloudy and likely oversensitive about self-esteem today for the Virgos, and more subtly so for the Virgo risings. The moon is in Libra, so your emotional focus is soul capital, your emotional focus, so you are very sensitive to your value and your values. This is an easy day where someone can pull you into a conversation where you're debating the values of something, what is right, what is wrong, etc. It all boils down to how you feel about yourself and what you think makes something valuable in your life. What you think is what makes it valuable for you, and that is what we call a strong or not strong soul capital. But values are a decoy. The issue today deals with long-term relationships. That is the arc for Virgos this month. Many Virgos writing in about long-term relationships and when will they have it and blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm telling you right now, it really depends on your spiritual behavior in the next four days. We are at the eye of the hurricane, Virgo. The sun is dead conjunct Uranus. It is opposing retrograde Saturn in your house of ego and persona. And this is the turning point in the next few days, whether you will either see a new reality when it comes to relationships or perhaps not. The universe doesn't make you learn. It just does everything in order to kind of encourage you to. Now, the dynamic here deals with how you put yourself in relationships and the laws of what relationships should be or shouldn't be and also your ego, how your ego either defends yourself or lacks to defend yourself. Many Virgos I know usually get taken advantage of, frankly. Their ego is not standing up for them in certain relationships, but because their ego is not standing up for them in certain relationships, they're drawing in people that take advantage. So it's really about two-sided kind of growth. The major focus is the laws of relationships. Relationships should be this way. I want to be treated this way. I will treat people that way. I will treat myself this way. I will not make myself do all the work and then expect my relationship person to not do the work. A lot of Virgos take on all the work. That's one example of how you may treat yourself differently than you treat your, your spouse. A lot of Virgo girls I know will do all the work, but it's okay, honey, you don't have to do it. Well, of course you're gonna draw on someone that takes advantage of you. It has to be equal. So in the next 24, 48 hours, I expect a dynamic ping pong kind of new reality awareness shift for Virgos and Virgo risings about how they are balanced or not balanced when it comes to their relationships and the laws of the relationships and how their ego needs to play along. It has to support what they've decided marriage should be. All right, Virgin, that's all I have for Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow with your weekend forecast. Good luck and live, love, be. So